Hello students, let's do the problem. And it says, Jason is vacationing on the beach and wants to rent an ATV. The table below shows the cost of renting an ATV, including the helmet. What will be the cost of the helmet? So let's look at the table, okay? In the table, we have X is the hours and the Y is the cost. Is that right? So uh, what do you notice about the numbers here? Well, it says that in two hours, Jason already paid $55. In three hours, he would have paid 70. In four hours, 85 dollars and in six hours 115 is that right so the question here is how much money it's gonna pay for the helmet and i know what you're thinking well miss i don't know i don't know how much money he's gonna pay for the helmet i have no idea okay so i want you to consider looking at the table okay again we're gonna take this question from seventh grade point of view okay how about that so if you are going to try to find a pattern, what is called a constant rate of change, right? So I will need to consider how do I go from a 2 to a 3? Well, I can add a 1. From a 3 to a 4, I can add a 1. But then the next one will be plus what? Plus 2. So if at any time I want to consider my constant rate of change, I will just need to look at the first uh, three points that are given to me. Because the fourth one it's actually a bigger interval. So what about the next one? I want you to look at from 55 to 70 and so on and so forth. Is that right? So how do you go from a 55 to a 70? Well, you need to add a 15. Is that right? How about from 70 to 85? Well, just you need to add a 15. How about from 80 to 115? Well, this is not a 15, this is actually a 30, right? So we're gonna prove right now that even though the last one doesn't give me a one and a 15, uh, right now I can eventually get the number, right? So this is basically my question. My question says, I'm looking for the change of the Y over the change of the X which means the constant rate of change. Is that right? So what was the change of the Y that I saw at the most? Well, it was a 15. And the change of the X was 1. So my answer is 15 over 1. Now think about who is 15. 15 is Y, which is money, and X is hours. So let's see if you can determine a complete sentence for that. So this means something like $15 in one hour. Is that right? Okay, good. So let's go to the next one. I know what you're thinking, miss, but in the, in the last one, I did not find the same answer. So maybe there's something wrong. Okay, let's check. So the Y that I found was a 30 and the X is a two. Well, simplify. What about if I can divide by two? What would I get? Well, I will get a 15 over one. And what do you notice right now? Yes, in both cases, I got 15 over one. So that means that Jason is gonna pay $15 for every hour. So if you look at the answers over here on the box, in two hours, he should have had paid only $30, but in reality, he paid how much money? 55. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go backwards. Remember that if I'm adding one to go to the next hour, I'm gonna go back. What's two minus one? And I'm gonna write it on the top. It's a one. What about on the other side? Instead of adding a 15, I'm gonna take away 15. Okay, so what do I get for that one? We get a 40, very good. But I still do not have the zero, right? 
I still don't have the zero. So what do I need to do next? Okay, how about zero here? So I am going to take away 15 from here. Is that right? So what would I get? We get a 25. Very good. So I'm going to put a little line over here. So what does that mean? Look at the zero. That means that before we have actually used that ATV, right, which is all-terrain vehicle, just in case you're wondering, right, before I can even use that all-terrain vehicle, I already have to pay $25. Is that right? So why? Why would I pay $25? if I have not even gone one hour or two hours or three hours. More than likely because this represents the price of the helmet. Very good. After that, every hour you will need to pay how much money? $15. Very good. Is that right? So let's see if we can think about the question over here. So in one hour, how much money did you need to pay? $15, right? Plus what? Plus the $25 for the helmet. So how much money would that be? $40. Isn't that the number that is here? In one hour, you pay a total of $40 because of the helmet and the $15 per hour, okay? So is that, I hope that that's making more sense why it's zero, it's so important for us to find, okay? So what we're gonna do next is I'm actually gonna work it out algebraically from that uh, uh, maybe kind of like algebra point of view, okay? So I need to find my slope. Is that right? So that'll be y so two minus y of 1 over x of 2 minus x of 1. I'm going to choose two points. So I can choose 2 and 55. And I can choose 3 and 70. Okay? So my first point is x of 1 and y of 1. Second point is x of 2 and y of 2. So what's the number that, uh, that I want to circle? I'm going to circle the y values because remember those are the values that will go on my numerator. So here's the, the thing. y of 2 is a 70 minus 55 over 3 minus 2. So what's 70 minus 55? It's a 15, right? And 3 minus 2 is 1. Very good. So I want you to look at the number. And I want you to look at the one that we found when we did the uh, change of the y over the change of the x, which was rate of change. It's exactly the same. I got a 15. Is that right? Okay, very good. So the next thing that I want to do is, now this 15 is from the y, which is the money that he's going to pay. And this is the number of hours. That has nothing to do with the helmet yet, right? So we're gonna do the helmet now. So helmet is more like the extra money that you gotta pay uh, besides the hours. So I'm gonna work out y equals mx plus b. I need to choose one of the points. You can choose the ones that I already have, you can choose another one, it's up to you. I'm gonna choose two and 55. Just because they're smaller numbers, so maybe I can do my operations faster. So this is x, the first number, and the second one is y. So y is 55. The m, which is a slope, is a 15. And the x that I'm going to replace it with is a 2. So I got 55 equals 15 times 2 is 30 plus b. Take away 30 on both sides. So my B is going to be equals to 25. Very good. Okay. Isn't that the number that we found up here? 
and we find it again here. Okay, so my answer for this should be letter D. Very good. 